One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the What's up everyone, it's uh, Tony Zhou here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great trading week this week and also enjoying the weekend. Uh, today, I'm just uh, gonna keep it really short. Uh, I just wanna point out some of the, uh, you know, questions from you guys uh, regarding the low-hanging fruit. And uh, so, you know, and also we had a pretty good example on Friday, so I thought, you know, it could be a good idea to kind of go over it. And uh, so, uh, you know, today's topic is gonna be how to properly profit from the low-hanging fruit setup, okay? And uh, I'm just going to bring out a chart here. I mean, BBIG, right? Big. Uh, this is really like, I mean, I put out a watch list on Friday on this one. And, you know, this is just, uh, you know, one of the low hanging fruit that it's, it's you know, uh, it, it worked really great. And uh i think it's been a while since we have a, you know such a good one like this one uh so you know that's why i want to kind of <coughs> uh, point out some key points and also uh you know the ideas uh you know really behind that uh, low-hanging fruit and as you can see as my watch list here uh, uh bbig right i put ideally we get a pop towards five five point five and six so if you look at this, <coughs> excuse me. So this is uh, the first day it ran, you know, like, you know, typical day one, hot chick uh, kind of stuff. Uh, Pre-market tank to pre-market trap, all the shorts here and then squeeze all the way back, broke the pre-market high. You know, uh, you know, it, sh it kind of sh uh, shook out all the, 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 the shorts that are anticipating this down move and it got squeezed up here. The longs anticipating, you know, the breakout, uh, you know, uh, they got the breakout here and then they just, uh, you know, dump it uh, right after that. So uh, <clears throat> after day one, uh, stock is pretty much broken, broke this support. So to me, the second day on this, this is the true low hanging fruit. Okay, guys, so this is how you determine if this one is the true lowing in fruit or not okay and now back to the watch list uh you know why did i come up with that five five point five and six you know for me my personal size i always want to kind of aim for those uh whole and half the little mark because you know in my experience they work really well so that's why i wanted to kind of stick to them and also i keep with pivots okay and as you can see here this is the support uh, like uh, this is the resistance you can see 5.3 so you know give a tag i, I want to give it like you know 5.5 .5, right let's say another one here you can see this is the you know the resistance from that so for me, you know, that's five er like a uh, uh, area of, of interest. Uh, so five, five point five. That's why I choose five point five. And then there's uh, another one here, which is you know pretty. I think it's it's close enough to pivot six uh, thirteen. So six, uh, you know, that's why I, I chose uh, kind of low the those lines five five point five and six. Okay, and it's just turned out to be you know like hitting that lines perfectly i mean in the pre-market i think i showed some here uh you know first time it gets there i want it you know to get some right uh you know but my thesis is that okay so stock is broken first time it gets there you know like it's pretty much like a first bounce first time it gets to that resistance likely it's going to reject because all the longs that that trap here is like those are baggies right they want to bell the moment stock kind of gave them any sort of uh, a sign or like, you know, a way to, to kind of uh, to get out, of course they're gonna take it. So that's my thesis on it. So uh, so when it pops to five, you know, I got in some here. I, you know, I still have tons of bullets left. Uh, 
uh, to kind of uh, you know scale into that uh, original plan, which is 5.5 and 6. And you know it's kind of fell, and and as you can see, right at the open, it just you know went straight into those lines. I mean, let's hypothetically, let's say, if you have like five, five point five, and six, right? I mean, you would probably missed by I don't know like a couple cents here. But the way I scale, or the way like you know most of us uh, you know scales in at MIC is, we wanted to kind of get in a little bit you know before that whole and half dollar mark so five let's say five i want to get in 490 491 492 493 or whatever 97 96 it's really up to you right i mean it's close enough you don't have to be exact like by one cent okay so in this case you know i would have probably and i also you know mentioned in the chat right uh, i got the five already right so now if it gets to this line i don't want it anymore i want it higher because you know the first time it gets there right and you know that's uh that's the kind of first resistance short and usually it tanks after that so the moment stock came back to this and you know to near that five line of course the all those long baggies they they already bell already so likely if you want to short back into that five line it's not as good as the first time right it's same thing the first bound is good, the second bound, third bound, fourth bound, it's, you know, it's not so good anymore. Same thing with the shorting here. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Five. I mean, if the move was like, you know, the first one here, right here, and it's just like went straight from 4.2 all the way to that six, then definitely I would have, you know, taken some at five. But since it's already got there in the first place, now if it gets back to this five line, I want higher. I don't want to short into this kind of, uh, you know, resistance anymore. I mean, you could nimble some, you could have, uh, small size or whatever you want scaling in small just in case right who knows so but uh, the thesis is you know it gets there already the second time is bound likely it's gonna break so I, I didn't want to kind of get that and I I was also busy with OBLN on that day so I you know pretty much completely missed that move so but the the, th the thesis here is that are you showing to that five and, and then six line I mean it's just work out perfectly Okay, so now it comes to the big part of this video. You know, it's, it's really the topic that I really want to talk about is how can you be able to determine, you know, if this low hanging fruit is something that you want to nail and bell or if something you want to be holding on and, you know, try to add to your winner and try to be patient a little bit more, right? So, and you know, it really all comes down to the mid left on the bone, right? The mid left on on the actual stock. So what I mean by that is, as you can see, I kind of explained in my previous video, but as you can see here, the line, the sand, the stock has been running for the last, I don't know, three, four, five, ten 10 days. The line in the sand here was like, you know, 1.6, let's say, you know, 1.6 at two, right? And stock ran all the way to 9.4 right and if you look at this okay so let's say hypothetically you get in 5.5 and 6 right I mean technically stock like the best case scenario it could tank to like 2 and it's like you still have like 4 bucks on you know like basically 4 bucks the mid left for for the stock to kind of tank lower right and on something like you know the true low hanging fruit like this i don't mind to hold you know a small piece or like i don't mind to be uh you know adding to my winner and try to be patient more a little bit because i know that stock has enough meat for for it to kind of tank lower right instead of 
let's let me put another example here Jean for example right Jean here like the first day it moved is you know, pretty much the same thing right and here you can see the second day this is the second day right it barely you know moved back to that you know I all I also had my plan layout as well Jean I would love to see 6 6.3 and 6.5 uh, you know I was aiming for this kind of this line 6.6 6.3 and 6.5 the reason why is that you know as you can see the back the line in the sand here is between four to five so that's basically uh, the levels that stock has been grinding for the last I don't know 10 days or maybe even a month right so best case scenario that you could get is stock tank to this high which is you know this is like the resistance and now it's acting as a support so see this line so technically you know if you were about to short somewhere like 5.5 technically you have only like five like 50 cents so on something like this right if stock pops to this level 6 or whatever 6.3 6.5 that I initially wanted to kind of short into you know that would be more like nail and bell for me so I want a one good pop at open and then cover on the wash okay guys so have uh, you know a wonderful weekend. I see you guys on Monday. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.